Hello everybody, this is Jason. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. I post content related with WebRTC, JavaScript and Golang. If this interests you, please hit that subscribe button and stay updated. Welcome back everyone. Uh, we are going to start a new series on um, using um, Tori um, uh, app that we can make a um, desktop app with JavaScript. Okay, before we start that series, um, I'm going to do a comparison um, with Electron. Okay, that's probably what most people use these days. Uh, you know, even uh, for those who doesn't know, even VS Code is uh, based on uh, Electron JS. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show uh, why we even bother. You know, with this, it's it's fairly new, uh, um, Tori. Okay, um, we do some comparison. We're going to build a couple of projects from each, and I will show you the advantages why we even bother. Okay, so to start off, uh, let's go here. <coughs> this is the website for e Electron. Well, uh, it's not the Electron um, official site, but this uh, I looked around. This seems to be uh, the easiest way to build an Electron app. Okay, all we need to do is npx and do that, and then run make, and and we have a binary for. Uh, the package desktop app in other words and this is Tori okay and we look at the guides and get started okay and quick start okay uh, we're going to follow um, <clears throat> these instructions okay and then we will compare the two and you you will see the difference really different okay and to start off okay let's go base <clears throat> on the technology Electron uses for those who doesn't know, okay, uh, it you basically um, using Chromium, okay. It's basically running a Chrome, like a full-on Chrome um, app, but your interface, okay. That's how you sort of explain what Electron is. And on the other hand, uh, this Tori uh, it uses Rust, okay, as your backend, and you know it just uses WebView, okay, which Windows and Linux or Mac they all have. Uh, we we view like built in, so basically we uh, it's really lightweight and really fast. Okay, there's two options. Okay, with Tori, you can just pack everything of your JavaScript code and then do it that way. Or if you want to be like higher security and performance, you can use Rust to do the back end. Okay. So we will probably do start a series. Uh, of course, it will be based around WebRTC. Okay, that's what ch this channel is, is all about. Okay, so we probably going to build like I don't know, like a P2P uh, video core desktop app uh, with web uh, communicate with website, and I don't know, maybe we can do a React Native um, app as well. Then we have three. Um, uh, it's total uh, cross platform. Okay as a video call app okay so to start off um what what this video aim is you know like to show you uh, why why we choose some um, tori over electron okay so firstly let's make, make a new project of electron okay we're going to do that on both okay and let's do that here and we'll call this electrons okay so we know what it is we'll do that <clears throat> and we can to do both in the same time okay well, let's do that with um, Tori app we'll start up another tab here okay and let's do a Tori app okay uh, push any key to continue yeah and the name we'll keep it as default okay and the title for the window same thing and we're just going to use van vanilla js for this one okay because we're not building anything we just use the pro like the default project and we compare what the differences are between the two before we go too deep okay let's close the vs code <clears throat> see this one's already kind of finished okay what we need to do is we just need to go into the directory and we do an npm i and this is finished. 
straight away you see the difference see this is still going hard try to download this stuff okay before we do that we'll open this thing up in VS code we need to change one thing okay before it will compile which is down here tori config.json uh, we just need to change the package name which is okay it doesn't have it yet so let's try to build this and then this it will it will give us an error telling us we need to change okay so what we need npm tori run tori and build okay let's wait to vs code finish uh, caching the rust stuff otherwise it will take ages let's check on the electron now all right electron is finally finished okay we gonna get into the directory okay it's all there okay now we're going to look at the documentation how do we build this okay we don't need to do that okay we're going to go straight npm run and make that will give us a Mac. I'm using Mac, but you know, this will give us a binary of the final uh, app, which we can run and I can show you. Okay, let's check out this. VS Code, is that done? Yep, it's done. Okay, let's build this. Are we in a directory? Yep. Okay, it says we must change, change the identifier before it allow us to build. Okay, that identifier wasn't there before, so that's why, oh, right here. So we're going to change that to, I don't know, just change it to my website domain, like reverse. Okay. And the app, keep it at story app, okay. Now, let's check on Electron. <clears throat> okay, Electron's finished. Okay, we find the binary in here. So we go cd this. Oh, sorry, not, not that one. CD. Okay, electrons here, sorry. Okay, this is all packed. CD out. Okay, that's where the binary is. Okay, we'll open this in the, in the finder. Oops, sorry, not VS Code. <laughs> Let's go open dot. Okay. That's the binary, okay? Look at the size, 183 meg for having nothing. <laughs> okay, so it's a clear winner here, and I'll show you the Tori app. Okay, this is finished too. Oop. I'll open that one. Tori this. Okay, let's, let's build this guy. npm run build. Okay, so now this will take a little longer to compile because <clears throat> it is Rust, so it's building all the Rust code right now, so it will take slightly longer. Okay, let's run the Electron. I'll we'll double click that. <clears throat> okay, here's our Electron app. Okay, hello world. That's all there is. And look at the size. 183.7 meg you can trim that down but i tell you i've been working with this um years ago like when pretty much when it first came out the best i can do is around 100 meg i think a 90 to 100 that that's the best thing and you gotta do a lot of work for that okay and let's finish wait till this thing finishes and i'll show you how what the difference are and you can see the clear winner out of that uh, although uh, Electrons has been around for much longer, there's more production app that is built on Electron. But I think uh, Tori is coming, uh, it's got to come in as a storm, you know, like the, a lot of advantage compared to two. Like you can write your Rust code, like you don't, you don't need to have any, um, what do you call it, JavaScript code at all, or you do, but like not the actual logics. You can actually write that in Rust, and which gives you a way better performance. All right, looks like that's all done. Let's wait till that this thing finishes. Okay, Tori app. Let's, okay, it's done. So what we need to do is we go to source. I think Tori. 
uh, CD target and we go at look at release folder all right I think this is it open Tori target release build uh, hold on I just need to find out where they put it release build no, bundle yep bundle <coughs> here we go here's the app here and guys look at this difference <laughs> 8.5 meg versus 183.7 meg okay let's open that up and guess what that's not the only thing okay these two apps run okay and the memory usage will be a lot higher in electron as well uh, let's see if I can show you that uh, it's a guarantee almost because you you know if you for those who use Chrome you, you know it takes a lot of resource and another thing we have advantage here look at the show package contents and if you go to contents resources app look at this this is our source code <laughs> and if you ship an open source project okay this is fine because it's open source right but if you try to do a commercial app and you do not want to include your source code even though it's probably been what do you call it like uh, ugly fied you can do that but hey it's end of the day that, that's still your source code there's a way around it and check out Tori <clears throat> nothing everything is packed into this app folder uh, app everything's inside here other words it's compiled and you cannot see this okay and to be honest with you uh, when I was doing a desktop app that's the only thing kind of put me off in Electron because you can see your source code and honestly you do not want to do that because people can hack your app by going in there and changing stuff and I'm not saying you know you can you know un uncompile this you probably can but it's gonna take you a lot more effort to do so so yeah so you know Tori is really a you know a good choice in my opinion of course this flutter um uh desktop app these days you but do you know that you know if you know that then it's fine but if you're a javascript developer like most people are uh this would be probably the best choice okay and regarding to the functionality the two is pretty much the same now there's a lot of different plugins like um for uh tori as well and i can't find anything that tori can't do that electron can so yeah so uh, i mean this is a quick video so it's just a lead-in okay uh, i think the next thing is we're going to do a series of doing you know some type of web rtc app out of this like we can make a, a desktop app as i said before it's most likely we're going to do like a, I don't know like a video call app that for desktop for like Linux Windows and Mac and also a web version because obviously the web version is going to be the same code base as our desktop okay it means we just gotta wrap it around again okay that's the, all it is and maybe to extend it we might be doing able to do a, a react native app okay of uh, I've got a series doing um, Flutter already. Okay, uh, that's that's happening. Uh, I can't see anything. I can't see any. Like I have. I haven't done anything on React Native, and which I think some people might want to see as well. So okay, guys. Um, that will be it for this one. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider do. Uh, that will help the channel, you know, to get grow, and will give me more mo motivation to do like some new technologies and share some knowledge with you guys okay and uh also if you be kind enough uh, be considered to be a patreon okay the links are, are underneath and or you can give me a donation on paypal all right thanks very much and if you haven't subscribed please do so and there will be many more of this type of content coming soon all right thank you we'll see you in the next one